Okay, so as soon as you save your sketch, it'll take you to this third and final section of the playground, uh, which is the archive. And a pop-up will appear with a short URL to your specific sketch, which you can copy and paste into a new window, or like it says, you can navigate down through the archive till you find your sketch. So we'll do that, and there it is. Then you can click on it or, or press enter, and that'll open up your sketch in a new window. So if you click this show code button, you'll see all that code that you had written before. And you also notice that there's a new menu, which says share, remix, and about. So the share button opens up this window, which has that short URL to your sketch, in case you want to post it anywhere or share it with your friends or whatever. Uh, and it also has some embed code, which will let you embed your sketch into your blog or Tumblr in the same way that you would embed a, a video from YouTube or Vimeo, for example. But also, don't forget that this is just HTML code, right? So you can copy this out into your own editor and just save it as an HTML file. And then you can make changes and you can upload it to your server and do whatever you want with it. Okay, so then there's this remix button. So this lets anyone create a fork or a variation of any sketch. And now we're in that the same editor from step two. And if I were to make any changes and remix this piece and then save it, it would get added to the archive and it retains that relationship to the original. So to explain that a bit more, let's go back to the archive page. And let's take a look at this cannibal sketch as an example. So here's a sketch I made collaboratively with Jordan and Kathleen at the Creators Project. And then if you go back to this archive, you'll notice that another sketch showed up next to that one, right? And if you click on this one, you'll get an ASCII remix I made of that previous sketch. So this was a, a remix or a fork of that, of that other sketch. And this last button is the About button, which has some shoutouts. And this is important, because the way that we built this playground is based on the same ethics slash practice that it encourages. On the one hand, it's literally been built on a few open source projects, which are listed here, as well as all kinds of code snippets copied, collaged, and pasted from the web. And conceptually, it's a collage of ideas inspired by all kinds of great folks, including Katie Salen, Martin Heidegger, Alex Galloway, and, and specifically Ted Nelson and Mr. Dube. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or issues, just go to the documentation page and there's a link there for issues. You can check and see if somebody's had a similar problem and if not, you could post your own question. And if you have any other thoughts or questions that aren't technical, you can always email me.